Oh, there we are. The sun has just come out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The sun has just come out. How marvellous. And we're both dazzled. There we are. Uh, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and this is Richard Suggett, the veg grower from the Veg Grower podcast. We're not talking about veg growing uh, today, but we are doing a bit of exploring. We are. And it's yes. very much your home territory, isn't it, in a way? Definitely my family's, family's territory. territory. There'll be a something later on dedicated my, to my family which we'll, uh, we'll have, a look, we'll have a look at so where are we we are in a little village called west chilterton which is next to Pulborough in west sussex in west sussex and we're actually in the field for the church or the car park which might be the glebe field as they call it i believe it, so it yeah. may not be shall we we're going to take a walk because there's something there's something going on today isn't there there is there is a flower festival going on with the West Chilterton Parish. Um, I haven't been in there to have a look yet, but we're going to uh, we're have going, a look and then explore. Going, yeah, we're going to do it all on camera and hope that uh, there's something fascinating to see. There's also a few uh, little stalls as well with bits and pieces. Yes, definitely. We're going to approach the uh, church through the graveyard. We are, yes. And there is a reason for that, okay. is we are going to walk past my grandfather and my cousin's grave. So your family then have been in this area for generations? Um, my, well, my, I believe my grandfather was born in Lansing, but they moved here with when him and my grandmother got right. married. Both my parents grew up in West Childrenton. My grandfather himself actually played organ in this church that we're visiting. And there it is in the background. For 60 years. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're not sure if that's a world record or anything, but we th certainly it's think certainly it's certainly a there. long time, yeah. isn't it? 60 years. So, uh, lots of graves here that we can see some marble, some stone, some, I don't know if that's concrete or some sort of modern stone. And, and then, of course, as you go further from us and nearer to the church, you've got some very ancient ones. How old is the church? Dates back to Norman times. Oh, does it? Right, yeah. Yes. This grave here is my done. grandfather. Peter Norman Knowles. Yes. And it's nicely attended with flowers in yeah. loving memory. And then this one here is my cousin. Just here. Oh, right. There we go. Who, uh, Matthew James Robert Palmer. Yeah. We'll head up to the church through some of these beautiful graves. And it is very lovely to visit. Uh, gravestones and graveyards it just reminds us I guess of our mortality and the church there you can see has got um, I guess it's some form of sandstone but it's ironstone I notice in those yeah. walls as well as um, the, a lot of rubble a lot of um, mortar mortar yeah in there and then we have the the beginning of the church should we just just walk outside just um, before we go in yeah and just go yeah. up this lane only because we can get a shot back of the church and also see a little bit of the beautiful architecture in the houses, these old, very old houses in mm. this old quiet street. They're very much in keeping with the church, aren't they? These they are. houses. I guess these days, of course, a lovely village like this, you'd have to have either family who've lived here for generations or a lot of money to move down, yes. especially in West Sussex. Yeah. So behind us there's the church with its um, shingles tower in the what looks like in the centre. It's actually it's a weird place for the tower, the bell tower, to be because it's normally in the west, but it's it's at the end of the nave mm -hmm. and before the chancel. Should we go in? Let's go in. Let's go in yeah. and see what the flowers are like. Yes. So uh, yeah, that will be good. Hello. Morning. Are we allowed in? Of course you are. Oh, you're very Hi. kind. Are we all right if we do some filming? Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Got some models. Got some models. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Look at these wonderful flowers. Just wish I knew all the names of them. I recognise the roses. Let's drift in. Oh, wow. Look at the church here. I mean, the church itself, of course, is absolutely fascinating because, as you can see, if I just put the camera up here, you've got some of the original murals hello. Hello. that are on there hello is that okay yes. we're doing a little video is that all right yes what is this for i'm the bald explorer and i'm exploring Optical. places in sussex right like churches and history landscape that sort of thing yes oh, so uh, we just sort of come and have a look at the church and the flowers information on the, the 
board there that tells you a little bit about the church. Oh, brilliant. I'll go and, and have a look in a minute. These wall paintings were done by the Pilgrim Fathers on their way to Canterbury. Oh, were they? And they're oh, right. in a lot of different churches, but these are exceptionally old and beautiful. Um, and you see, you've got this side as well. And they tell the story of a few parables and the nativity, and they maybe have been with them in stations of the cross. So. so they must have stayed here for some time in order to I paint all these so. murals. I would think so. Or they painted bits and somebody else came along and painted, a painted them in. And the walls used to be red all the way round, as in these two, as in that picture there. Oh, and right. If you look at the the work of the walls, you'll see there are lumps of red. Little bits of red that are still here. Somebody has at some point lime washed it. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. It's a very narrow um, chancel, chancel arch, isn't it? Yes. I think that was uh, that was added. This is the old. I think that's newer. I'm not sure. Well, you've got the I mean, tower immediately yes, on, on, on the, the east, east, which yes. is weird, isn't it? Yes, yes. Which is unique. And we've got a hagioscope, which is a... I'm sorry, a what? A hagioscope. Oh, I wish I knew what that was. It's, what is a hagioscope? It's colloquially called a squint. Oh, right, OK. you can look through it. It's got flowers both ends of it now. But it enabled the people on that side of the church to see the sacrament happening up at the oh, altar. right. Only a letter, a few of them. But yes. it also works as a wonderful megaphone, as my grandchildren found out. <laughs> and we but there is to it. it. Whether it... Well, if you call or sing through it, yes. it really goes it out. Oh, right. And it may have also acted as that to make it better for people better to hear, because that pillar is so enormous. I've been here many, many times. I was christened here. Were you? Yeah. Oh. I was christened here many years ago. We must find the font then. So, what, so this is a dedication to your family? Yes. Peter Knowles, my grandfather, the organist in St Mary's. Who we who, saw earlier. Who we saw earlier, 60 years played an organ here um, and this is obviously all his family dating back to 1853 oh so wow. my your lineage man, my lineage yeah. on, on that side yeah and, so, and and were they any of your family you got Frank Knowles in the dressed there as a soldier yeah in the first world war first world war yeah and Jack Knowles bricklayer enlisted in the army, army. So these are all direct descendants of your sin? Yes, definitely. Wow. Well, there you go. You'll have I, to do a presentation about your, um, your family. Yeah, I was, my family's so huge. So it's, I've got 13 cousins. You have to do cousins. a series then. You have yeah. to do a series. <laughs> well, I've got 13 cousins on this side alone. Oh, have you? <laughs> and then have a look at the altar, which she said was the altar stone was buried. Amazing. It's, it's, um, buried to protect it, of course during the Reformation when they were destroying all the all the decorative parts of the church. And this, a look back, I just raised the camera up a bit, looking back now towards the nave here. Well, Richard, it's well, been uh, a fascinating, you could, you know, spend a lot more time here. Uh, unfortunately, the time in the video has run out, but um, Probably thank got you. overtime as yeah, well. Yeah, probably. It? Yeah. <laughs> but never mind. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for taking me on the walk. Welcome. And thank you for coming. Yeah, and don't forget to check out the Veg Grower podcast. The link will be in the description and all the other bits and bobs of the Bald Explorer. And if you want to become a patron, that would be absolutely great. Check baldexplorer.com. Till the next one, bye for now. Bye. Bye. bye.